Everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some soda pickups from Whatnot. So, without further ado, let's hop right in to this review. Let's see what we got in these boxes. Check out some of these sellers on Whatnot, sending me some stuff. All right, we'll start off with this first one right here. All right, let's see exactly which one of these we got because I got a ton coming in so. All right, I know what that one says. You don't yet. I'm gonna roll them out and then we'll... All right, they popped off a little bit. All right. We got Toy Tokyo Spikor from the Motu line. Check that out, 3,000 pieces for the set. It's got the sticker on there, which was on the bag or the uh, sleeve on the outside. So pretty cool on that, that he put it on there for me. There are some cans floating around without that on there. Here is, there's the Pog. 2,500 pieces, very nice. Has it been cut open? I don't know. Looks like it has not. No, actually it has not been cut open yet. Very cool. We're gonna cut it open here though. Very cool. Now I believe the chase one for this is metallic. The common one is his regular paint schema. Dang, he looks cool. Check that out. Now they do have a spike or pop from the original yellow box Motu Wave. They have not re-released a spike or yet, but this one's pretty cool. So I guess it's kind of like a re-release if you would. Very, very cool. Paint job on it. Awesome. Digging the sodas, digging the stylized nature of the sodas. And the way that they adapt these characters is just, is great. It'll turn some of the most vicious characters into just like cutesy little cartoon characters. And I think that's so awesome. And uh, again, it really goes with that theme of like the font on the soda. Actually, I just noticed this. There's none of those little sparkly things on the back of the can. It's almost like they didn't print the, uh, the backdrop on the can. There's like the little fizzy carbonated bubbles and stuff popping on the back. Interesting. Huh. That I did not know. Alright, cool. Anyway. I wonder if that was just the only one, the only, like, Spike or was the only one they did that for. Because I'm pretty sure all the older sodas still have those little fizzy bubbles on the side, so. Anyway, we got Spike Ore. 2,500 pieces. A mini grail, if you would, for the collection. He's about a $30 soda. Um... I would say like a Mega Grow would be 100 plus. That would be for sure. All right, let's put this one open. Let's see what we got in this one. All right. Oh, nice. This one, I'll open him off camera. Take the can out of this bubble wrap. All right, we got from the Shining Jack Torrance. And I believe the chase is him frozen. So again, uh, if you're not into the chases being like, I don't know, their own figure, then, you know, and that being the only one, because sometimes you'll buy like, well, if you have the common and the glow, you might just buy the glow and not even worry about the common. But when it comes to the chases of these and the commons, sometimes the commons better than the chase. So it's him frozen, like I said, and this one's just him standing, but um, it's like two different figures, if you would. There is the Pog, 10,500 pieces. And there is Jack. Very, very cool. I dig it. Dig the stylized nature, very, very cool. The, I think probably the worst one that I have seen though, so far, is uh, Deku from the My Hero Academia. I don't know, it's, something's off with his face. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it just didn't adapt well. I don't know if that makes any sense. It just didn't adapt well to the soda brandage. Let's see what we got in this one, which is a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna be a little bit more careful cutting through this. This is one of those Walmart boxes. Um, oh, nice, it is another soda, that's good. Sometimes you'd be surprised I get tricked 
the box looks a little small and there's there's a pop sitting there stuck in there so i've been tricked before where i'm like oh this is a soda nope it's definitely a pop we got a mutley but what mutley did we get what mutley did we get we got a mutley Chase Mutley. How cool is that, huh? Flocked Mutley. Here's the bag right here. We're going to check them out. Got the Chase Mutley right there. Flockage looks awesome. Very, very cool. So we got the Flocked Mutley. Very, very dope. Cool. All right. There is Mutley right there. back we got another box here this is again another whatnot pickup and i have been very impressed with the whatnot app it's definitely better than macari i can tell you that um it's better than ebay too on everything except for sometimes the price so you get better everything except for the price sometimes but again you're paying up for a little bit better service and verification and Again, people not posting pictures of fake stuff on there. So let's see what soda we got. Ooh, I know what this is. Oop, it opened up in shipping. The Mumra. Check that out. I already have Lion-O. 7,500 pieces is the whole run for the Thundercats. Very cool. They've only dropped two of these. They've dropped lion and Mumra so far. Here is... The Pog, 6,300 pieces. And here is Mumra, who has a kind of like a metallic gold sheen to him. I'm actually not sure what the chase is for this. Does he glow? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you know what it is. Definitely dig the stylized nature of it for Mumra, though. Awesome. It looks great. He could be in a Scooby Doo cartoon the way he looks. No joke. I mean, he looks good. He definitely looks he could be a Scooby Doo. He definitely could be a Scooby Doo cartoon. That's a good pickup right there for sure. Digging the sodas, digging some of the figures that they're popping out and some of the characters. Alright, we got the last soda box for this opening right here, and we'll see what we got inside this box. Whoop! That just fell right out. That is a Clarabelle cow. There is that. All right. Well, we'll pop that off anyway. 8,000 piece run, again, from the Disney line. One of the first, I mean, if you don't count the Nightmare Before Christmas, I guess one of the first Disney ones that they've dropped. Which is uncut too, which is nice. There's the Clarabelle cow, 6,700 pieces right there. And again, the rest is the chase. So let's see what we got in the bag here. There we go. Oh, uh, it felt like I thought her ears were like up the top of the bag. I don't want to cut her ears. Guess not. Or I should say her little horns. Alright, there is Clarabelle Cow right there. And I believe the chase is her colorized. Colorized version. And I believe she has like a red top. A yellow dress and I believe like a green accent somewhere. Maybe this whole sham right here is green, I think. I don't know. Not too sure, but or maybe it's a reverse of those colors. I'm not too sure, but I do know that the black and white one is the common and the chase is the colorized one. So pretty cool on that. Again, first Disney one that they've dropped. Um, I've not seen them do any other Disney um, announcements or, or drops, period. I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is Disney, but at least Tim Burton, Tim Burton and Disney, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is the first Disney drop I've seen. So just let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite soda from this particular pickup. And uh, yeah, do you collect sodas? Do you have any sodas in your collection? Which ones do you have in your collection? These were some for mine. So let me know yours down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.